Till this moment, we focused either on the low-level container tools or on very specialized ones. The truth behind such tools is that they're fantastic if you need to automate something, but they will never replace the fully featured container manager. The most fully featured and arguably popular Dockerless container manager these days is Podman. Podman was created as a drop-in replacement for Docker, with the main difference being the focus on rootless containers. Same as Builder, Podman does not require a privileged daemon. Any regular user is able to run containers, and each container is scoped only to the user that runs it. Talking about Builder, Podman actually reuses the source code of Builder for image-related features, meaning that commands like podman pull, push, and build will run the same code that is behind Builder, and it also means that podman and Builder share the same storage for images. Being a high-level utility, Podman uses either runc or crun as an underlying container runtime, but it can be used with any other OC-compliant runtime, at least in theory. Podman builds on top of everything we've discussed so far. It is compliant with OC standards, it supports rootless containers, and works nice with other tools from the container landscape. To install Podman, simply run yum install podman-y and proceed to the next lesson to see it in action. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.